Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last run, uh, kind of one for the ages. One of the fastest runs I've ever had, especially as a character like Maggie, who doesn't get any rerolls or really damage bonuses right off the bat. That was pretty incredible. Just uh, an example of really, really amazing RNG. XZ3Y737G. So, obviously we will be uh, extremely lucky to get that same level of, of RNG here. Or even, honestly, like a, a thin fraction of it, but... Uh, I'll be content either way, like whatever they want to give me, if they can at least give me the chance to spin it out, I say they as if it's some otherworldly creature and not a, you know, a game engine or something like that, but uh, as long as the, the mythical gods are in control of the items that I get in Rebirth at all times give me something half decent that can be spun into victory, I appreciate it. There's x-ray vision right off the bat, all of a sudden we got enough money and bombs, which I'm going to call purchasing power. We've got an explosive amount of purchasing power right now. Uh, which we should be able to use on our shop to maybe pick up an item. Uh, okay. It's a tough choice. Piggy Bank is better in that it's passive. However, Deck of Cards is better in that we don't have a space bar item and won't get one until at least the next item room. I don't think we can get a space bar item from our boss here. If we got, like, the way I'm seeing it right now is we can get Joker card followed by. Krampus fight followed by head of Krampus. That's the only way we could get a, a space bar item that would make this like not functional. But you know what? If that happened, I'd be pretty stoked because that's a much better item than deck of cards anyway. Um, at least if we don't have very amazing damage to start with. So I think I'm just gonna roll with exactly the way that it looks right now. And you know, if we if we end up getting rid of deck of cards, then we paid 15 cents for a two of hearts, which is not very good. And if we end up uh, using it five or six times, maybe it does end up being worth it. It did preclude us from getting piggy bank, but I'm, I'm hoping that that's not an issue. I think this could have more of a productive impact than, than piggy bank early. Piggy bank is like a nice passive benefit, but uh, deck of cards, a little bit more of a gamble, but a gamble in a, in a positive way, a gamble that could could work out for us. I mean, two of hearts is, is not a, a shit draw as far as cards go. At the very least, this will give us the ability to come you know, from the brink of death and, and make our way back, as long as we don't wait on it too long. Is there another golden chest back here? It's tempting. It might take two bombs to push it. Oh, that was bad. Don't fuck it. Oh, I fucked it. That didn't make it any better at all. Um, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Check this out. Good, 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 good. Not good enough. Okay, but now instead of using two of hearts, I'll just go pick up the the hearts that were back here. Um, I really was like, what if it's what if it's Cricket's head? Wouldn't that be amazing if I popped it open and it was Cricket's head? But it wasn't. We didn't lose anything except literally every single one of our bombs in the process. And then of course, oh of course. Okay, if I just saved one bomb, it wouldn't have been a problem. This is the kind of shit you don't find out about until it's exactly too late. Oh, we're never gonna know what's in that. We're never gonna know. Oh well. Oh well. That's, uh, that's life, man. That's life. Unless one of these fires contains a penny, in which case we could buy a bomb from the shop. Oh, what? The dream is real! <laughs> There's still more hearts back here for us. Let's go get those hearts before we pop this thing open, just in case it's, uh, it's got spiders inside of those pots. What the hell, man? The dream, it just keeps stacking up! Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm shouting. Also, I apologize. That was... A n needless amount of shouting. My, I have to buy the bomb from the shop here. Let's not go crazy. Okay, come back down. Go to the shop. Is there even a bomb for sale? Don't mess this one up. People will never let you... Oh, there's no bomb for sale. You know what, though? That extra penny does give us the spirit heart, which gives us a great chance of getting a deal with the devil. I still fucked this one up a little bit, but I didn't fuck it up as much as it could potentially have been fudged up. So let's just get the heck out of here. A lot of people are probably saying, why didn't you at least pick up the bird foot? It's like, it sucks. It's, it's really, really bad. Uh, it's not, uh, it's not worth less. But is it worth less than the heart that we would have paid for it? Yeah, I, I honestly think it might have been. Wish we could have gotten some pots out of that, but we're still, like, sitting pretty here. And a key does not hurt, even though we have more than enough right now. You never know how that'll transition in the future. It would be awesome if we could just get a great deal with the devil here and kind of coast. Just not forever. I'm, I'm not saying I want to take the easy way out here. I'm just saying if we could just get like HP 
followed by maybe like a, a mark. I would consider that a really positive get here. Because it's objectively a really positive get. And then we could, uh, you know, live our lives in, in peace and harmony and, and feel good about this cane run. Squeezy is actually really good as well. And Temperance is an awesome draw for us from a uh, deck of cards. We can use that with our two of hearts. We have to, unfortunately, take the Necronomicon. Uh, it's not the best item for this time and place. But it exists, and we will take it. Uh, we should have popped this maybe in a different room, but it's not a huge problem either way. Let's go find our item room. And then I'm probably not going to invest too, too much in, in trying to get uh, something out of this Temperance card. Out of the Blood Bank as it now exists. Range up is fine. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. That might change. If we get some HP, like, from this boss trap room or something, that would... Ooh, a... Eternal Heart changes everything. There was a blue map, I think, in our... In our, uh, shop, if I was not mistaken. And at, at the time, I didn't really pay much attention to it, because I was like, we're not gonna get enough, enough money for a blue map. And we still don't have enough money for a blue map. But we're not as far off as we used to be, that's for sure. Really only need one bomb, and then we'll be sold on it. Larry Jr.? No, two Gurglings. Oh, I'm the world's greatest Isaac player. Did you see that Gurglings block slash dodge? That was incredible. And look, I'm not trying to toot my own horn a little bit, but I am, I'm in a good mood for the first time in a little while, and it f feels good. Okay, there's a Tinted Rock, and uh, Red Hearts, which is where we should have popped down our Tinted Rock, obviously. And by Tinted Rock, I mean Temperance card. At least those ones actually start with the same letter. I don't feel as bad about, about that uh, mistaken nomenclature. I'm doing this because I'd like to get a bomb as well, if possible. And let's not forget that Eternal Heart. That's important, but it's also important to play the Blood Bank to get enough money to get uh, the stuff we want to get from our shop. Or just get a bomb, or two bombs, and then our problem would be solved. Inside of our item room, the Mulligan. Fantastic item. I was about to be negative and be like, Whoa, what do you think the odds are we're actually going to get something good from our item room? And then it turned out to be great. It's a flat 1 in 6 chance to spawn a fly when we shoot a tier that hits an enemy. That's good. Um, those those flies are, are worth a lot. This is going to be tedious, so just prepare yourself for this. But we're going to come back. And we're going to get this. We're going to come back. And we're going to hit this. And then I'm going to use two of hearts to save us some backtracking. And that pays out with our 15th cent, which allows us to buy blue map. Uh, probably don't waste a key for no reason. Yeah, we do want blue map out of these. I know that we could get a bomb. I really don't want to go through the hassle of doing so. I apologize for this, but I'm going to take the easy way out. I'm going to pick up the eternal heart, and then I'm going to just uh, take ourselves down to the next floor. I feel still very good about this. Don't touch that temperance card. We have the same amount of HP. Deal with the devil precedent. More spirit hearts, I think. Uh, and the mulligan. This is a positive situation to be in. So we can obviously just... We will check that out, but first I want to go into our curse room just to see if we get something good for free that might augment how I feel about that. Hey, lard for free is not bad, and an Empress card is okay as well. Might even play that Key Beggar, because we're in this weird situation. I'm the world's greatest. I can't believe I did that. Um, but I'm in the situation where I have a lot of keys, but not a lot of anything else. Sorry, dude. That's as low as I can go. Don't have any money, basically. Well, yeah. Let's let's fight our boss. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm ready. Come on. Watch it. Hit me. Card against humanity. Well, it's money, but it's also very annoying. Another spirit of hearts. And we'll take the Emperor's card into this fight. At least we might as well carry card against humanity. Like, it carries some utility with it. All right. Good damage. Now it's all about getting those mulligan fly spawned, because I don't really want to get too close to Peep and risk getting hit by his poop. Or I guess it's literally, obviously, urine. But, uh... It's not where I... The kind of thing I pictured myself saying at the age of 26, unless I was a doctor. But, uh, that's okay. Life takes mysterious paths sometimes. That's definitely urine. Uh... You know what? That's a suboptimal way to deal with that fight. I'm sticking with the, the deck of cards. It's a suboptimal way deal, to deal with that fight, but we got a card against humanity. We can make this do something. We can generate something out of this. I don't really want to pop it until I need money desperately, but uh, this might be a desperate floor for us. I don't know. 
Hermit. Not great. Except for the fact that we have a, a pretty good use for it on this floor. Of just being able to go into that uh, mob trap room, step in, and then leave. Uh, take whatever the items are. And considering there's two red chests in there, there's a decent chance of pulling a guppy item or, you know, something uh, along the, the same lines. Man, this is crazy. I've gone through like 10 minutes of video and I haven't talked about my video card issues once. Are we entering a new era of actually not being preoccupied with stupid bullshit like that? I hope so. Ghost Baby is a bad haul. Demon's Tail might actually be worth the cost of doing business, but uh, it's a little bit of a variable and I, I like to keep things constant on my runs. Even oh, I didn't see that poop there because I was too preoccupied with the map and timer. But, uh... Flat Penny definitely supersedes that issue. Um, not the issue of the map and the timer, but rather the issue of whether or not I want to get Demon Tail, because Flat Penny is uh, beyond acceptable. One of the better trinkets in the game. Definitely like a, a B plus to A tier trinkets. Can be even greater depending on, you know, your, your needs situationally. It's good. What are we holding the Hermit card for? I already explained that two minutes ago, Derek Zoolander. We, we got it sorted out here. Don't worry about it so much. It's, don't you worry, you, your pretty little head. We're going to get you home to Tyson in your cozy tiger bed. Right? We, yes, we've already seen this room. Wow, amazing. Three cents. But those three cents... contain two keys. Hermit card out. I do want the compass. I can't deny this. We could use Card Against Humanity. But if I could just get enough money directly, I would prefer to, to save us some time and heartache, but... You know what? T we traded two bombs for like six cents and a fuck ton of keys. I respect this choice. We may have to use Card Against Humanity, and you know what? Life goes on if we do. We'll take our time, we'll save, you know, sucks to your ass smart a boss rush, and then we'll, we'll live our lives. Hey. This is a song from 2008, Live Your Life. Hey. Mm. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, is there any way I could have created a bridge on this room? And by the way, I know there's gonna be people like, oh, why'd you do it on this room? There's a, there's not as many poops on this room. There's not as much space for the poop to spawn. Look, you're right, but I don't want to spend my whole life shooting poop, all right? I'm not gonna worry about the efficiencies of shooting poop and try to eke out an extra, you know, on average, three cents, which is gonna be one and a half keys, you know? We're fine, don't worry about it. We do have enough money, obviously, to get the compass. I will shoot the leftover poop on this room. Lots of red hearts as well. We don't need them, but it's it's nice. You know, it's nice of them to do so. And I just want to avoid picking up any of the pennies until we get uh, Flat Penny back. Again, this slowed us down a lot, but this card against humanity actually proved to be really useful on this room. We picked up a lot of keys. <laughs> like, a lot of keys. We're up to 14 now. Uh... Kind of want to open that golden chest, but it's not in our best interest. So now we can buy something from our shop on this floor and be fine for our shop on the next floor as well, probably. There's the compass. Great mapping, actually, with the compass and the uh, and the secret map. The blue map. If I'm being 100% honest about the way the name works. Uh, we should go to our curse room here. Oh, yeah, just stand next to that explosive barrel and persistently shoot while looking at your map. This is why we've got GPSs now, so people don't do that shit while they're driving. You. I was looking forward to moving on from that topic of conversation. Picked up one key there, but uh, Spirit Heart from our curse room. Not particularly strong, but not terrible either. Why would we not go to a double key room at this point is the question I find myself asking as I was about to circumvent that room. Not really much reason not to, considering how much uh, we have in the way of keys. Alright, so we get... Two chests, one of those chests spawns a slightly smaller chest containing two bombs. Then we have a tears downgrade. Or sorry, a, a range downgrade? I think it was. A stone chest containing a key, which contained a penny, which contains another key. I'll trade one key for one bomb. We could do more. You can always do more. Let's see what we got going on up here, though. You know, the, the keys are still valuable. You never know if maybe a guppy's tail shows up. And moreover, I just prefer having peace of mind for uh, for keys rather than bombs. And we have an Emperor card. This is a teleport card, but we're probably at least a minute or two behind schedule for boss rush. So I can't really hold out a ton of hope for actually making that work. But I can hold on to it. it it's worth holding on to for this length of time. If we can use it on the cathedral, 
or even like a Womb XL or the, or the chest if we get very lucky and uh, that's good. We might end up just using it to teleport out of a room without having to fight the enemies in that room though. Like if we do a, bo a boss trap room or a mob trap room or something. I like doing it that way. Saves us some time and also uh, maybe some grief depending on how much HP we would have taken. Let's see what we've got inside of here. But mostly, I, I think it's worth using to skip those uh, those floors where you don't actually want to do every room. I realize I'm taking some dumb damage here, by the way, but I think we're in a pretty privileged position to be able to take some dumb damage without, like, super dying. Yeah, great damage. Um, that one was not <laughs> something I had the luxury of taking consistently, I think. Dark Bomb, all right. Maybe, never mind. The game seems to be providing me with uh, way more than I deserve right now, and I appreciate that a great deal. Uh, maybe it's uh, saying apologies for the OpenGL renderer errors earlier. And, uh, I really thought I could get away. I walked away from spider legs. I thought that I could get a deal with Satan. Get a deal with the Beelzebub. Better now, now. That's that's a flock of seagulls, uh, and I ran. But it's rewritten to be about the. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Cuban meat. It's rewritten to be about um, me trying to get a deal with the devil without taking red heart damage. So I'm not feeling uh, too confident in that song making it to the top of the charts. But hey, man. If Pac-Man Fever can do it, you can too. Stand as far back as the game's window will allow. Okay. We did get a deal with the devil. Holy crap. We also got a Tears Up shot speed down from Blue Cap. Absolutely taking both of these. If we're going to take Judas's Shadow, we might take Gimpy. Because the implication, of course, with Judas's Shadow is that we'll kill ourselves to respawn as Dark Judas. And Gimpy's good. Especially considering we have Dark Bomb as well. So, let's try to... Get some spirit hearts here, because if we get these spirit hearts, all of a sudden, we can kill ourselves and respawn as uh, Dark Judas right now, basically. I'm not saying it's going to give us a, a guaranteed boss rush or anything like that, but uh, it, it's going to take us closer for sure. Uh, I don't really want to do the boss trap room yet, but might as well knock these guys out, because we may want to do it. Wheel of Fortune, I'll just explode. Got Cursed Skull out of it. I wouldn't recommend this, necessarily. Alrighty. I guess we didn't really need blue map because we have uh, x-ray goggles, but x-ray vision I should say, but I'm happy we did get it either way. Because it does give us a little bit of like a preconceived notion of where we should be going, but I guess the compass covers for that as well. Where did that spirit heart go? It's been, it's been teleported, okay. Um, I hate to do this because it's a waste of two bombs, but I am just like completely going to blow myself up here. And the reason I'll do that is because we have that extra spirit heart back there. So we can start a pretty good life as Judas here. Where, where did it go? It teleported! Do you see how far away it teleported? It's on the other side of the flipping map here. On the bright side, what is great about that is that I probably would not have gone back for those other red hearts were it not for that. So maybe that is valuable. Oh teleported to the deal with the devil teleported to the deal with the devil I kind of think I should emperor card out of here I know that sounds ridiculous uh, I'm gonna emperor card out of here it no longer sounds ridiculous that sounds like the smartest goddamn thing I've said in my entire life um, fuck boss rush Bo boss rush does not matter just get your freaking spirit hearts and get the hell out of here and you should probably try to collect the extra ones as well. Boss Rush is irrelevant. What's relevant is you living a long and healthy life here. I don't want Flat Penny. I, I mean, I do want Flat Penny. I don't want uh, Cursed Skull. I don't care in the least about it. I care about it less than I care about the reviews for the 2015 Blake Lively Harrison Ford joint, The Age of Adeline. That's a half heart, but you should pay out. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! No, I'm not. That's a, I'm a poser. You shouldn't have uh, enjoyed that because I don't understand wrestling. I, I would like to understand it, but I don't quite understand it yet. That's another payout right there. Oh, we're sitting pretty. Okay, we are slow. But I mean, at the, this point on the last run, we were on the cathedral. So maybe our internal calibrations are a little busted right now because, uh, you know, normally a run 
this is pretty normal to be 17 and a half minutes leaving the Depths 1. Leaving the Catacombs 2 maybe is a little ridiculous. I didn't realize how far back we were. But you know what? That just means more opportunities in the future for us to get more items. So who's laughing now, Mom? That's what I thought. Okay, free secret room. There's a dice room that scares me and titillates me all at the same time. 21 keys, so we really need like a guppy's tail to make use of those, but better to have them than not have them. There's another payout. He might even be a little closer than zero from for paying out towards the next one as well. Can't say for certain, but I think that's probably the case. In spite of the fact that I love this run, we have to we have to try. That's just the nature of the beast. Sure, it's a three room. I'll reroll the two of hearts. I'll reroll the bomb and the key as well, and I'll reroll all those. Well, you paid out with a spider, you I don't I don't need that right now. I don't need that in my life. And the rerolls all consumables on the floor, so anything we didn't want, I hope that we uh or anything we wanted, I hope we'd picked up by now, but knowing me, that's not always a guarantee. Could be another payout. No. This is what I was hoping for. We'll just give him a you know, the standard walk around here and then I think he was about to pay out maybe, so I wanted to leave before he got too attached to it. One more payout in here. This is why Dark Bomb is just stupid good. Synergizes really well with uh, Blue Map and or X-Ray Goggles. Up to nine hearts now. This is the strongest run I've ever had that has absolutely no chance of making it to Boss Rush, I think. Why pop the Magician here? Because it sucks. No matter where you pop the Magician, you're going to be, like, reasonably unhappy with its results, I think. Why not use it here and, and open up the... The space for something a little bit better. Oh no, I took some damage. Oh. It's all good. Now. I would like to get a rotation of the cube of meat in there, but I didn't, and I almost got hit as a result, but that's okay. I am getting a little bit impatient, and that's my own that's my own Everest to climb. You know, that's my journey. I'm gonna work on it. I do rely on orbitals a little bit too much, probably. Probably a lot too much, probably. Monstro's Tooth is not good enough, but it's not terrible. It's just not good enough. These are, at least, Mom's key is, uh... Alright, let's get out of here. Mostly at this point, I'm like, if the item room could just give me a speed upgrade. That's that's the only thing I'm really concerned about. Uh, as far as item rooms go, of course, if we get, like, a Proptosis or a Polyphemus or something like that, that's cool, too. But if you could just, like, make it so it doesn't take me 10 or 15 seconds to traverse a big room, that's also pretty good. Hoping maybe we got a Super Envy fight here. It's very rare. Not Super Envy. Not Super Envy! Uh, super Pride was actually what I meant. We got we got close. One out of two ain't bad. What was that god-awful sound? Did you hear that? It was like Pat Sajak's Scooby-Doo impression. Or Josh, like, throwing up into a glass with his water at the same time. Alright. This is, yes, very specific impression. Pat Sajak pretending to be Scooby-Doo and or Josh throwing up into a glass of his own water at the same time. It has to be his own water, otherwise the pitch wouldn't match, obviously. Next question. Okay, perfect. Greatest player of all time. That was alright, it was a tactical Spirit Heart loss to gain a Spirit Heart in the future. Worked perfectly. Next question. Uh, pizza. Next question. Goathead, next qu- okay. The, see, the joke there was gonna be that you, I would get, tell you the answers, you'd tell me the question. We'd have like a little bit of interview Jeopardy there. You might be saying, well, that pizza question was obviously, what's your favorite food? Nope, it was, what's my favorite pizza? That's why you never assume are you gonna make an ass out of you and me. At this point, I'm like, maybe we should just use our orbital to deal our, all our damage, because... I mean, we are taking damage in the process, but we're gaining seemingly a lot more than we could ever use. You rarely see this, like, quadruple, uh, hollow room here. It's pretty rare. We have a Joker card as well, but we don't need it until the Cathedral, which means it's kind of a godsend, obviously. Get one extra deal with the Devil. We will take the HP, and then whatever's in the deal with the Devil we'll just take, if we can. Yeah, uh, ceremonial robes, for sure. And then we'll head down to the next floor, and, I mean, it's a good run. It's a little slow, but that's about it. Everything else is, like, is coming up roses right now. 
You can also Joker out of that room, but honestly, it doesn't seem worth it. Now, this is a huge floor. At least it looks like it's a huge floor. What's the biggest floor you've ever seen that wasn't on display? That's a great question. Next question. You saw what I was trying to do there. I ended up not being very impressed with myself, but I was like, I can totally dodge between this. I'm Northern Lion. I've got a two streak. It should be no problem for someone of the caliber of myself. Wow, Dark Bomb's gonna be happy. Spiders, maybe? Like, at this point, the spirit hearts, not as valuable as the spiders. Oh, I forgot I had some tea over here. If we're not worrying about boss rush. Mm-mm. Soothing. Semi-delicious matcha, which is also quite bitter, but that's okay. It's that's you know tea. Uh, tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. See the parallel? That's uh, White Bird from Fallout New Vegas's Honest Hearts DLC. I finally finished all the DLC from New Vegas. Honestly, I didn't think Honest Hearts was as bad as most people did. Oh, we can use our Joker card right away. And I'm glad we could, because that is just an awesome uh, pickup for us to have on this floor to speed things up. Literally gives us more speed, Horror of Babylon, but also more of, like, everything else. My least favorite DLC... My favorite DLC was probably Old World Blues. My least favorite DLC... Honestly, it was probably Dead Money. Uh, yeah, I think it was Dead Money. Although I like the story of Dead Money and the characterization in Dead Money. The gameplay was so annoying to me. The constantly looking for speakers, like avoiding the toxic cloud. Anyway, I'm not gonna harp on harp on it. I finished. It's all it all adds a nice little bit of flavor. But Dead Money was the one where by the end I was like, I hate this a little bit and just want to go back to cool Fallout. We should probably donate, but this run's already taken 133,000 years, and I'm getting a little antsy to be honest. You, I'm getting a little ornery. I'm getting a little antsy. We should have opened up our golden chest, by the way, and then used our Joker card on that uh, moss moss trap room. Yeah, that's where you trap the moss, um, and then you apply it to trees to tell which direction you're supposed to go in the forest. I must have missed a an F load of tinted rocks on this run. We have seen, like, zero. Which, to me, indicates probably, you know, error between, you know, user and keyboard. Don't even need that anymore. Probably don't need those. Just wait for this and finish off this room. Okay, what do we need? Piercing shots and more damage, and then that's it. We are going to get a deal with the devil here. That doesn't matter because we don't need it. Um, we've already been to it, I should say. Let's see what the pills are. Tears down. Real bad. Range down. 48-hour energy, full health, hermit card, death card, uh, obviously we want to roll back with our joker card, which I apparently left on the other side of the map, so my apology, did I leave it on the other side of the map, do we have curse of the maze, we do have curse of the maze, wow, I left it all the way back here, and now we're all the way back here, I suppose we could have hermit carded out of that room, but at this point I'm like, Let's not tempt fate. Please just let me go back to the... Back to the base. We like the base. Okay, I will, I will use our golden key and one bomb to open this up. Yeah! Exciting. Oh my god, let me get out of here. We were already done our run three minutes ago at this point, game. That's the standard that I'm going to unfairly hold you to. Alright, I thought mom was bugged out for a second there. Maybe a nice little repercussion of our display drivers occasionally being fucked up. Mom doesn't pop out right away. I'm being facetious. I don't know if that causes anything. We've already seen our deal with the devil. And you have chosen to pay out. Excellent. We'll head down to the next floor. I mean, this is looking like an obvious win. We have good damage and Whore of Babylon and Dark Bum. So, I'd be really, really surprised and extraordinarily disappointed to see this run turn into be a loss. But, we gotta go through the motions nonetheless. I forgot that we got Hive Mind. Well, I shouldn't say that. I, I don't... I didn't forget that we have Hive Mind, but I forgot that we had the Mulligan to go along with it, so... Our, our flies from the Mulligan are actually gonna deal quite a lot of damage. But, no matter what our luck stat is, I believe we spawn them at the same rate of uh, one every six shots, so... It's never gonna get that much more prevalent. Well, I mean, 
Could do worse with the chariot card. We almost did do worse with that chariot card for a minute there. I didn't think we were actually going to get out well, still under its effects, but uh, that's okay. This is our last floor with the pre programmed deal with the devil. Uh, health up is kind of bad. Range up is useful, but the health up I don't want because it could fuck up our permanent Polaroid invincibility because we're not playing as Eve. So you know what? I'm just going to try to work our way towards this deal with the devil and do my best not to pick up any red hearts along the way. But if there is a deal that we can actually pay for, we're going to take it no matter what because we don't want to throw ourselves out of the Horror of Babylon state and ruin what is actually, like, by far the best thing that's happened to us in this run in the form of this extra damage. Could get a map, I think, from Judgment, so we'll play him. It's not like we have anything better to do with our, our money ever on this run, so might as well do that. Get a Degas rune. Do we have a curse? Curse of the Maze? Well, you're done. I tried to push it away a little bit. I'm going to use the Degas rune just to purge the curse, and we'll uh, we'll carry the Joker with us. Of course, normally to purge the curse, you've got to return the slab, but uh, that's okay. We don't have to worry about it. I don't need that key either. Let's just enjoy You enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself. I'm in a surprisingly good mood. Help. I need you to pick that up. Dark bomb. I don't want to pick it up. I also don't want to close my eyes or fall asleep because I'd miss you, Dark Bum, and I don't want to miss a thing. Mostly just want to play with animal crackers on uh, Liv Tyler's abdomen before I go into space to save the world because the sweetest dreams will never do. I just, oh, great little you see your Tammy's head there. Are we going to roll with Tammy's head? Absolutely. Tammy's head is exactly what Nelly wrote the song Ride With Me about. If you're gonna go and take a ride with me, you best be a cat named Tammy. Press space, bar to kill the room. Hey, it must be the Tammy. We should have definitely had uh, a half red heart. I'm an idiot. I'm not a, a, a huge idiot, but I'm a little bit of an idiot for that. Let's take some tea. I should really say drink some tea. When you say take some tea, it definitely sounds like an illicit narcotic. I don't know what it would be. Fucking thiamine, dog. That shit will get you super antioxidized. What's a magnesium? It's a really, really big gymnasium. A commercial fucked me up as a kid, man. Oh, we'll take that, I guess. People are going to say, what commercial? There's a commercial. I don't know if it was Canadian or American. Most Canadian or most commercials in Canada are American, but they might be regionalized or localized or whatever you want to call it. Um, we still want our Joker card here. But it was like this kid was like eating Cheerios, and then he was reading shit on the back of the box. He's like two years old, and he's like, Mom, what's riboflavin? And then she's like, it's a musical instrument. What's magnesium? It's a really, really big gymnasium. And then, like, when I watched it, I was like, oh, that's cute. And I got older, I was like, how about you just fucking say, I don't know. Now what you've done is you've had this cute story that you can tell to all your friends. Oh, that's cute. And then your kid's going to go to school and they're going to be like, does anyone know what magnesium is? He's going to be like 16. And then he's going to be like, well, I heard that it's a really, really big gymnasium. And people are going to laugh at him and nobody's going to want to fuck him. Way to go, mom. You did it. You made your son unfuckable thanks to your cute moment. This is not a story about my mom. I was already like 13 at that point when that commercial came on. Which means that I, I was man enough to admit that I didn't know what the fuck magnesium does. Most of the time, anyway. Um... But yeah, it's like, you know, we're living in the computer age. If your son says, Mom, what's magnesium? How about instead of saying a fucking outright blatant lie, you just go, here you go, honey. Here's like, why don't you go on Wikipedia and look up what magnesium is, and then I'll explain it to you. We'll learn about it together. We'll make ourselves both le more learned individuals as a result of your question here, and then we'll grow together, and, and I'll teach you the valuable skill of learning to answer your own questions instead of relying on other people for absolutely everything. But no. Mom just wants to take the easy way out. It's been a long week. Jenny doesn't stop talking about her new boyfriend at work. He got a motorcycle. They're going off-roading this weekend. Oh, it's a really, really big gymnasium, honey. Shut the fuck up. Mom's trying to get lost in her daydreams. Life's hard enough. Basically, that commercial stuck with me. Mom, it's okay to say you don't know. You know what would be a dope commercial? Is if, uh... The kid was like, Mom, what's magnesium? And she was, she went to Wikipedia and she's like, Magnesium is the 24th uh, element on the periodic table. It's got an atomic weight of blah, blah, blah. And the kid was like, whoa, as a result of you showing me that learning is cool, I'm going to go get a career in science and make the world a better place. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Cheerios. Cheerios. Your kids are geniuses now. This is the commercial rights itself. 
you freaking so-and-sos? I don't think we're Guppy, but we did get Guppy's paw, and I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. That's not true. I, I stayed in my home. As long as Kate will have me, anyway. Uh, yes, thank you, Dark Bomb. We're no longer gonna squander our permanent Polaroid invincibility. We are not gonna become Guppy either, but that's that's okay. Our Joker card uh, worked out pretty well for us, giving us Guppy's paw, more survivability, ruining uh, ruining our chance to ruin the permanent Polaroid invincibility, and now our permanent Polaroid invincibility is actually proving very useful for us. In all in all honesty, why are we so invincible here? What did, what did I pick up, or did I get hit twice in rapid succession? I didn't pick up like a ver oh I did pick up Celtic Cross. That's right. That was when I was in my fugue state recently. Uh, okay, okay, good, good, good. I really thought one of those would hit. <laughs> That's probably what Stain said right when they uh, put out their second album. Hi yo. Hi yo. Uh, yeah, this is probably the right way. You know, if you can go back here and get this red heart, that would make my life much easier. Gonna pay out? Yeah, you are. Full freaking aggro spider. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hitchclaw Recluse. Not worth taking. Uh, neither is Flat Penny at this point, although it's been great for us up to this point, but uh, I don't think we want to get rid of it for something that literally provides us with no benefit. Now, if it was 9 volt, who? Who? That would be excellent. But it is not 9 volt. As a result, it's just. Unfortunately, I think actually does nothing for us, so it's it's pretty much worthless. Nun's habit would also be great, but we might as well check our second secret room. I was a little lazy about it back here. It was covered up by the map as well. Or the timer, I should say. Alright, let's do this. Pretty good hit there. I'm going to try to keep myself uh, far away. There's no reason to hemorrhage HP if we don't need to. You never know. We could still find ourselves in a position where things get a little bit touch and go on the next floor. Not as a result of shit damage, but as a result of uh, a little bit of diminishing HP and, and not really picking up great dice rolls on those gimpy hits. But we're in a, a really good position, I think, to, to win this one. Especially if our flies will actually freaking aggro on the only enemy on the screen right now. No uh, pressure or anything like that, though. You know, take your time. It doesn't matter to me. I got all day. This is my job. You're the ones who only have a lifespan of, like, six weeks. So, you know, if you want to spend part of your time fucking yourself in the butt, that's fine by me. Really should not have taken that damage, but that's okay. We're in a, a sustainable position. Okay. Curse of the Blind. Dangerous, but it, it it's like a... Fucking binary situation. Either it fucks us or it doesn't. Leech is okay. Charm of the Vampire is worthless. The Parasite is great. The Peeper is also largely worthless, but it, it could provide us with the occasional hit that we like. Parasite, obviously the biggest uh, payout there. And could be fun with Tammy's head, especially if we can... Oh, so stupid of me. Especially if we can pick up some, some extra uh, chests on the chest, but I'm a little skeptical of that happening. The... I, I don't know what it is that makes the... The haunt so easy relative to, you know, other bosses that seem to get easier, but maybe not this much easier. Experimental treatment. At least it didn't give us HP. I don't really know what it gave us, honestly. I think we're a little faster, so I don't really mind that so much right now. Probably should try to blow those guys up. Ah, terrible damage, but Gimpy paid out. And yeah, the game has been kind. I mean, I've, I've played okay, we've gotten good items, but also, the game has mostly been pretty generous with me, and I appreciate that in my time of need here. We will check that card. Probably should have checked it before fighting this room. Could be an Emperor card. There's no card that says, hey, fuck boy, we tricked you. Shouldn't have picked this up. Now you're stuck with it forever. That's probably some kind of bomb-related item, I'm assuming. Mr. Mega, that's good. Bloody Lust is good, but we're probably not going to get too much use out of it, but it's still it's be best to have it. And our death card has given us Bob's Rotten Head. No, Bob's Curse. Sorry, Mr. Mega, Bob's Curse. That would have been great if it was a guppy item, like right at the last second, but whatever. This is also still very, very good. I figured we'll take some invincibility right off the cut here and probably allow us to finish the job very, very quickly. Kind of just throw ourselves all in here. Easy fight. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.